This is the Zinger 21C. It's the newest American hypercar. It's American designed, American engineered, and American made. It does zero to 62 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds. Yeah, that's an insane number. If you agree with me on that, make sure you drop a like on the video because we're gonna dive real deep into what this car can do. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to keep up with some of this automotive news and cars like this coming out. So what is powering this absolutely insane hypercar that it can pull a zero to 60 in 1.9 seconds? Well, to start out, it's all wheel drive and it is a hybrid. It has a 2.88 liter V8. Yes, that's a very small V8, but it's also a flat plane crank twin turbo engine putting out almost a thousand horsepower. There are also two electric motors driving the front wheels, which produce somewhere in the mid 200 horsepower range, giving the car a grand total of 1,250 horsepower. With those electric motors up front, you're also getting an advanced torque vectoring system. And that V8 in the back will rev to 11,000 RPM. I haven't even gotten to the good parts yet, and I'm already in all about this car. Now there is a street version and a track version. The street version comes in at 2,756 pounds. The lighter weight track version is 71 pounds lighter than that, coming in at 2,680 pounds. Now it does have a seven speed sequential transmission. And I already talked about the zero to 60, which is 1.9. Interestingly enough, it'll also do zero to 186 miles per hour in 15 seconds. 0 to 248 miles per hour in 29 seconds. And for you drag racers out there, it runs the quarter mile in 8.1 at 170 miles an hour. The interior of this car is equally as impressive as the rest of it. The interior reminds me of a fighter jet. The way the passenger seat is behind the driver. It's very narrow, kind of like an F1 Indy car. It's very futuristic looking. You'll never mistake in this interior for another car. The steering wheel kind of reminds me of a video game controller. Everything on the dash is digital. You have your gauges, your speedometer, attack, and everything looks like it's in the center cluster in front of the steering wheel. But what's unique that I like is the screen to the left of the steering wheel, which looks like it could be like a diagnostic screen or an infotainment or like uh, your performance screens and tire pressures, oil pressure, temperatures, all that other stuff on that side. It's a really cool layout. I really like it. It's like I said, very futuristic. Reminds me of like a Formula One IndyCar. I'm absolutely blown away. This is insane. The car looks gorgeous, performs even better. For you track guys out there, the downforce on the track version is nuts. 1,700 pounds of downforce at 155 miles per hour. Another interesting fact about this car, there's a lot of chassis pieces that were made with a 3D printer, which is a first for any car. The street version of the car does come in a couple different colors, which does look really nice. The track version of the car looks mean. Whether you want the street or the track version, you're not gonna be disappointed with this. Top speed for this car comes in at 268 miles per hour. Now there's gonna be only 80 of these built out of Los Angeles, California, and it's gonna have a starting price of $1.7 million. But it may be the fastest car on the planet. Now there's a lot of hyper cars out there pulling some pretty astonishing numbers, but this one has left me speechless. I'm at the point now like, where else can we go with cars? Can they even get any faster? Of course, I asked myself that not too long ago, and then this comes out. 1.9 seconds, zero to 62. I, I can't even fathom getting the, the amount of traction you would need to go that fast. I mean, that's nuts. Make sure you leave your comments down below on what you think of the new Zinger 21C. As always, make sure you drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.